of time um, I want you to just open your mouth and just pray in one minute we don't have so much time this morning open your mouth and just pray in one minute and say father help me and help me now sometimes all what you need is the help of God but the help need to come so fast help me Jesus and help me now. String, strings. Just take it to string, play anything, will be okay. Help me, Jesus, and help me now. Help me, Jesus, and help me now. Where? Say, Father, this morning, help me. Far beyond what I know. Far beyond what I don't know. Far beyond my qualification. Far beyond my qualification. The race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. It's of the Lord that showed mercy. I never felt like Tabaradus. But I felt like Tabaradus. Many of you have not prayed this morning yet. Pray. Let the devil know he has prayed again. Let the devil know you are awake again. Let the Lord know you are grateful. Bible said, pray always. Pray without ceasing. Pray. Let's welcome the Lord. Let's call upon the Lord. May my prayer rise before He has incense. May my prayer rise before you as incense. And the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Who 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not going 
Because of you, we are nothing without you. We are nothing without you. Walk with me, O oh Redeemer. Walk with me, O oh Redeemer. Oh, keep our inside. Walk with me. My redeemer, walk with me. My redeemer, walk with me. 
I am nothing without your presence. My Redeemer, walk with me. My Savior, walk with me. My Savior, walk with me. I am nothing without your presence. My Savior, walk with me. My Redeemer, my Redeemer, walk with me. My Redeemer, walk with me. I'm nothing without your presence. My Redeemer, walk with me. Walk with me, walk with me. I am nothing without your presence. My Redeemer, walk with me. My Redeemer, my Redeemer, walk with me. My Redeemer, walk with me. I am nothing without your presence. My Redeemer, walk with me. My Redeemer, my Redeemer, walk with me. My Redeemer, walk with me. I am nothing without your presence. My Redeemer, walk with me. Stay with me, stay with me, where you are is where I want to be, my Redeemer, stay with me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are nothing without you. There is no big man before God. No. We are nothing without the Lord. We are nothing. Absolutely nothing. Take away the Lord from any man's life, you become nothing. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Christianity has never been a religion. Never. Men may profit from the religiosity of Christianity. From the merchandise and the business and organization that it comes with it. But the goal of God was not that Christianity be a thing that is a business, a religion, an organization per se. No! The prime of Christianity is a relationship. <laughs> the prime of anything that has to do with a spirit is a relationship. And if you cannot discern the relationship and the demands that come from the relationship with the being upon whom you call your Lord, then you have failed before you started. Everyone that does business with God, don't just know God, is in the proximate relationship with him. Your strength in this kingdom is in how much more you know the Lord sufficiently well and he knows you also. It's possible for someone to know you and you don't know him. And it's possible for you to know someone and he doesn't know you. There has to be a commensurate understanding and an agreement between the parties. And that is why the strength of Christianity in its prime is a relationship. You cannot be in a relationship just by assumption. You can't assume that I love you. No! When you see us pray, you see us shout, you see us cry. <laughs> We know that there is no advantage upon the face of the earth. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will not leave you as orphaned. Except I go, he will not come. But it's expedient that I go. He said, when I go, 
He, the spirit of truth, will come and he will guide you into all truth. Christianity is all about representing a being. And you cannot represent a God you don't know. It's not about talking it. No. It's not about faking it. No. If you don't know, you don't know. When we speak about the realities and the realms in God, it's not what you do by trial and error. Men that do try and error die. It's not business that when you fail, you can do it again. No. If you fail in this one, you are gone. A man can fail from school, return back to God. A man can fail from marriage, return back to God. A man can fail from a business, return back to God. If you fail in God, what will you return to? Nothing. God is not try and error. No. You will live a very riskful life. If you live upon the face of the earth and you have your own life, you must give it to the Lord and exchange it. You must come to a point where you exchange your life for his own. You don't live on your own accord. No. I can understand if he fail in school. I can understand if he fail in marriage. I can understand if he fail in anything. But if he fail in God, nobody can understand. It's a great failure. It doesn't matter whatever your qualification is, my friends. If you are not qualifying God, you are still disqualified. The qualification of our father, Iye Adeboe. There are few VCs in Nigeria that have that qualification. Yet again, he left it away for the Lord. <laughs> my brothers, it doesn't matter how qualified you are. Eh? When it comes to God, God does not see those things at all. There are things that count on the earth. Certificate. What counts in the spirit is the glory of God. And everyone that does not have the glory of God is naked. And the nakedness of men is what men see. And they are ashamed. If you are still ashamed, my friends, it's because you are naked. If you don't have the glory of God, you reveal your nakedness to the world. What do you have to offer to your generation? It's not money because Bill Gates and Elon Musk has it. God is looking for men and women that can carry his glory and that can be able to represent it. Because what the earth is lacking right now is the glory of God. There are billions and trillions of naira upon the face of the earth, even in dollars. But what is not easily available is the glory of God. And these are not things that you get by qualification. You must die to yourself if you must get it. My friends, this thing is a serious business. If this generation cannot hear your voice, it's because there is something you don't have. It means you are still disqualified with all your qualification. It's the truth. And let me tell you, Bible school don't make men. Discipleship may not even make you. It's the secret place that will make you. And the secret place is a product of a relationship with God. My friends, do you have a secret place with God? Or you are just living your life the way you want to? And you want to matter upon life and upon the face of the earth, you will be a joker. You will soon be over in this campus. You will remain in Federal Polytechnic, be there forever. No. After here, what next? I asked myself this question many years ago. After this campus, what next? Many of you want to do and get a good job. After a good job, what next? You want to do and marry. After the marriage, what next? My brothers, you want to be a millionaire. After the millionaire, what next? A billionaire. After then, what next? You now realize that no amount of accomplishment is enough. The next thing is God until your feet is planted in Zion. You are still far from the civilization of heaven. And that is why when you meet Dangote today, what you need to let him understand that he doesn't have is the glory of God. My friends, there are things that money cannot buy. And these are the things that we are looking after for. We are going for it. Because if you can get the things that money cannot buy, the things that money cannot buy, we buy money. You will not understand. The success of greatness in this kingdom has nothing to do with physical qualification. No. Our parents were so qualified, they live a wretched life. I have seen professors live so wretched. I have seen them. I've been a biochemist all my life. 
I will start PhD. But you see, it has nothing to add to my statue in God. No. The more I die daily with God, the more I increase. Men and women of time past, many of them never went to school. Yet again, they make impact upon the face of the earth. And let me tell you, demons don't understand this our English. They understand power. So don't think because, okay, now we have a very good English, so it's an advantage. It's a very big disadvantage. Because too much grammar without power is still a challenge. My friends, there are things you must get. The glory of a star. You are the star, but do you carry glory? The glory of a star is its ability to be able to shine. My friends, it's possible for you to be a star and not be able to shine. It's possible. It's possible. The star does not shine just because it's a star. Something enables it to shine. Where does the light come from? It doesn't come from the star. The star itself is just an entity. I told you the moon itself depends upon the sun. The same way that you may be an entity, a star, until God illuminate upon you, my friends, you will still remain the way you are. The genesis of success in this life is how much more God and blame you. When God covers a man, the man can become anything, anything. You have not yet failed until you fail in God. I know they told you you have failed. It's a lie. I see men that people call them failures. I have seen ladies that people say, you are stupid. You are a bastard. When God comes, he makes everything new. Your life has not ended until you stop praying. I'm assuring you. You can never conclude upon the pray- praying men. They can be in jail today. They are out tomorrow. They can be beggarly today. Tomorrow they will be the ones that rule the kingdom. You still have an advantage. But are you aware of it? I will give you a little short this morning. Then we pray. Please, before we advance, help me appreciate yourself. Please help me appreciate yourself. Also help me appreciate the CRM, the Zona Coordinator, the Decorator, and the Ushering Unit. My best unit. Thank you so much. I don't know how many people I ask. I love them dearly. Uh, the Sister Coordinator and the Welfare. The Vice President, Stephen Ali. Thank you so much. And the President, Daniel. Thank you so much. And the entire executive, thank you so much for still having me around here again in RCF Bida. Um, I trust God that God is going to help us this morning for us to be able to thrive. Go with me to the book of Genesis 3, 8. You can have your seat. Please come with something to write. Come with your Bible and everything. Can the scripture be projected? It's possible. Oh, I should just read it. Wow. We need to be really be brief. So we're going to do like yesterday. Yesterday was an amazing time. And um, if you are not here, please get the message and listen to it. You'll be so blessed. Um, so we do like yesterday. I will just read all the scripture, then we move, right? Genesis 3, 8, you see, And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife heard themselves from the presence of the Lord and among the tree of the garden. And the Lord called upon Adam and said unto him, We are thou. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hide myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was afraid? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I have commanded thee thou should not eat? Go with me to the book of Psalms 29 3. The Bible says, The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. Again, Psalms 66 from 19. He said, But verily, God hath heard me. He had attended to the voice of my prayer. Matthew 27, 46. I told you, you have to follow me fast. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, Lamas, Sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? John 5, 25. Very, very, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall live. Matthew 17, 5. So while he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud 
we said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Lastly, John 1 22 said, Then said thee, then said they unto him, Who art thou? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. What says thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as said Prophet Isaiah. The voice is in the word of God. The voice, the voice of God is actually in the word of God. From the very first beginning in Genesis, the Bible said, when Adam and Eve lost the glory, mind you, first thing they lost was the glory, right? When they lost the glory, the Bible said when God came, they could no longer relate with God. You see, when you lose the glory of God, you can't relate with him again. If any time you see a man that cannot relate with God, it's because there's no glory. Deep always call unto deep. It is very easy for you to know God more when you already know God a little bit. When you know God, there is a hunger and a desperation that cannot be satisfied. So when God satisfies a little bit, he takes you another measure again. He always measures a thousand cubits. But in the day you lose that small dimension of God you have, sometimes it's hard to return back again. These are the reason why when men backslide, they never go back again. Why? Because a the ladder is as though the ladder now instead of first step, you now see like 35 steps. So your leg can't reach. So what made Adam and Eve to be able to relate with God very well was because they had the glory that God put upon them. But immediately when they lose the glory, they hide. Why? Because suddenly God looks so far from them. You will see many people that do not even know God at all. Some of them are not even born again. When they look at your life, they believe that Kai is as if there is something special about you. Some of them look at you and feel as if you are too, like you are not a normal person. You see, what makes them believe you are not a normal person is just the glory of God. I'm very serious. You see, they live their life anyhow. They smoke when they want to smoke. They drink when they want to drink. They go to party. They sleep around. It's because there's no glory. When there's a glory upon your life, it regulates you. There are things you can't do. But if you lose that glory, you don't become worse like them. But immediately, when men lose the glory of God, they will not begin to see God alien. So immediately when Adam and Eve lost the glory, when God come to fellowship with them as he used to do before, they can't again. Not because he doesn't want to, but just because they lack the infrastructure that can be able to accommodate that. Is that okay now? That means they Why? It's because they were stars designed by God. I told you the word star in that scripture yesterday was the, was the meaning, is the word Messiah. Is the meaning, if you go, just go and look at the Septuagint, look at the original context of it. The word star, according to your anchor scripture there. If you check the book of Genesis, when God created the two great lights, and he also created the stars, those stars are actually Messiahs, are actually entities that God released on the earth, so that he can make God omniscience. So that by the when the moon and the sun cannot shine, the stars can still be available to be able to shine. So it then means that God ensures that you and I can become so numerous that we can be ubiquitous. That everywhere that we can go to, God can still be represented there. And that is the intention where God makes men to become stars. But you see, Adam and Eve are also stars. But you see, they so long shine so long as the glory of God is upon them and immediately when the glory of God leave them they could no longer shine again your life will not be different everything you enjoy today is because of the glory of God if it goes you are go you are so gone but you see where does this glory of God come from the glory of God come from his word yes but you see The voice of the Lord is actually in the word. And it is the voice of God that carries the glory of God. The glory of God is actually the product of his word. But out of his word, his voice proceeded. Is that true now? Then from the proceeding of his voice, 
is his glory. The Bible says when God was came to the Garden of Eden, his voice was what was available. But yet again, they actually hear the voice walking in the garden. How can a voice walk? It then means it's God that was actually in the garden, but they, what they perceived eh, was a voice moving. Every star is a voice. And as a voice, he is a Messiah. Every star is a hope to a region that darkness should not have a few days. If there are no stars in the region, darkness will always have a few days. See, darkness only rules at the absence of light. Anytime little light comes, darkness flee away. Your room can be so darkened. It doesn't matter the intensity of the darkness. Just bring little light. It's enough to drive out darkness. No matter how you do, anytime darkness see light, is threatened. Light don't get threatened by darkness. It's a lie. Someone told me, Abbasu, it's because you are not staying in Lagos. If you are staying in Lagos, you will slide. <laughs> I say you are just joking. The reason why you will slide is because you are not light enough. See, it doesn't matter how dark a region is. In fact, sometimes the reason why you should shine is because there is darkness. How can light shine when there is no darkness? The beauty of light is that darkness is actually in view so that it can be able to be revealed. The best thing that God would do to a man is to give him a voice. Every man has a voice. Every man. Everybody has a voice. The same way like I told you, every star is designed to shine. Every star carries a glory. They may differ from one to another. The same way that all of us are not the same. All of us are different. Is that true? Now, let me tell you. Our differences is not for intimidation. It's not longer, it's not even inferiority. No. Our differences is our uniqueness, which is supposed to actually be what we complement each other. Do you realize that? All these fingers are not equal. And let me tell you, no finger is better than the other. Is that true? And that is how we are. Everybody has a purpose. If you see any man that is not relevant, it's because he has not yet again come to a point of the realization of his purpose. Some people may be playing keyboard, the other one may be playing drum, the other one may be doing something. Everybody is doing something. It then means that everybody is important. Many things work together to ensure that this mic works. And all of those components are important. And that is what I'm trying to let you understand. That everything has something it must contribute. The same way every star has a glory that it must reveal. And the same way that every individual that God must make a star, he give him a voice. The best thing that God can do for you is to give you a voice. Because the best thing that God has is his voice. You realize that if God is only the word and do not speak, the word will not become anything. <laughs> The word of God is potent, but the potency of the word of God is in how much more it's communicated. The Bible says, and God spoke. If God did not speak, nothing will happen. Is that not true? Why? Because the voice is the tool for creation. The voice is the tool for restoration. The voice is a tool for emancipation. Until God speak, nothing will ever happen. The same way until you speak, nothing will ever happen. Jesus Christ was together with them in the boat. The boat was about to capsize. He stood and he said, peace, be still. Let me tell you, until you speak, nothing can happen. Until God give you a voice, eh, you will never be relevant upon this earth. Every one of us may not be the same, but every one of us have a voice. Our voice are not the same, my friends. That is why when you hear your mother talk, you know it's your mother. When you hear your father talk, you know it's your father. I can't talk like Daniel. I can't talk like your papa. I can't. I can't even talk like you. Your voice is unique to yourself. Even if you hide in the other room and you speak, I will know that it's you. Is that not true? Everybody has a voice. And let me tell you, the uniqueness of our voices eh, is an advantage. But many more times people live and die, nobody hears their voice. 
apart from your voice god also give you a voice because god need to give you a voice he need to make you a voice he need to send you as a voice but before god send a voice he must actually come to a point where he give you a voice apart from your voice that you have there is a voice that god gives to you when god give you a voice that voice he give to you make you to become a voice everyone that you see that has become a star it's not just one that has known that God has a voice. It's not just one that has been given a voice. It's one who has been made a voice. You see, why they were together, something overshadowed them and a voice spoke. This is my beloved son upon whom I'm well pleased. He said, hear, hear, hear. They asked John the Baptist, who are you? So that we can go and tell the people that send us. He said, go tell them, I'm nothing but a voice. <laughs> I'm a voice of one kind. From the wilderness and preparing the way for one who is supposed to come with another kind of voice we are all diverse in our numbers but all of us are voices the same way you see there are diverse tunes that make a sound each and every of those notes is it notes and keys right all of them sound differently but when you join them together they produce a nice melody and a music is the same way that each and every one of us are diverse voices and each of those voices carry authority. If you have to be a star, you must be given a voice. No star are the same. They differ by their voices. When God gives you a voice upon the face of the earth, he makes you to become a voice. Then he sends you as a voice. And when the Lord sends you as a voice, he makes you an envoy. Because now, when you speak, men will see God walking. As it was in the garden of Eden. That when the voice of God was moving. They were seeing him walking. When God makes you a voice. He sends you as a voice. And anytime you move. Men will begin to see God moving. Not just because God wants to move. But a voice command him to move. How comes we speak and God hearken unto it? It's not because it's we that are speaking it. No. He hearkened unto the voice of his servant. But that voice of his servant is actually his own voice. Every glory that you carry is not your glory. It's the glory of God. Do you realize that? It is the glory of God that is shared that brought us. No man has anything. Mankind eh? is in the system. What is covering us is just the glory of God. So we cannot say we carry the glory of God. No, I know we carry it, but it's not our own. Thank God it's even the glory of God. So whatsoever you carry, if it leaves you, you can become naked. So wise men can cry. Take not away your glory from me. Why? Because they know that when the glory is gone, their life is nothing. My friends, you will become nothing without the glory of God. It's not a cliche. It's just the truth. But the man that sustains the glory of God is a man that has been made what? A voice. And the voice is a system of restoration, system of recovery, and it's an authority given to mankind for representation upon the face of the earth. When God gives you a voice, He commands the nations to hear you. Because the nations come to hear your own voice. Many years ago, the Lord told me, Philip Zephas, I will give you a voice. I will make you a voice and I will send you to the nations. I will give you the ark and the nation. It doesn't make sense to me until you begin to command the world to hear me. Let me tell you, if you must be a star that must shine, God must have to actually bring you to a point where he give you a unique voice that may not be too available upon the face of the earth for everyone. Every nation have voices. Every nation. Every region you go to, there are voices. When you go to Lagos, there are voices in Lagos. When you go to Abuja, there are voices in Abuja. When you go to UK, there are voices in UK. But let me tell you the truth. At every time, there is always vacancy in the spirit for God to recruit more. Do you know that there are more stars in heaven than there are human beings on the earth? Can you count the number of stars in heaven? The number of stars are too much. But yet again, none of them eh, are threatened by the other. All of them are shining. <laughs> but do you know that upon the face of the earth, we can count the number of people that are actually stars that are shining? Let me tell you, nobody is stopping you from shining. You are the one stopping yourself from shining. Everybody can be made a star and all of us can shine. It is simply because in every region, God has created vacancy 
for so many to be able to be given the privilege. God can send you to your own village. God can send you to UK. He can send you to London. He can send you to a region. Let me tell you, what is the capacity of Peter? An average population of Peter may be about, let's say, 150,000 people or 200,000 people. You can hardly see a church that gathers 10% of those people in the region. Even 5%, you can hardly see. It then means that each and every one of us can divide those populations and gather equivalent enough. I always tell somebody, I say, Lagos still need men. An average population of Lagos is about 24 million people. 10% of it is more than 2 million. Can we see a church that gather 2 million people once? It's only Baba that is trying Holy Ghost Convention. But let me tell you the truth. There are so many wayward people in Lagos that you can count. Every region needs more voice. Every region needs more stars to shine. The ones that are shining will not stop you from shining. Why? Because every star has a voice. And that voice is what the generation is looking for. Sorry to tell you. No matter how anointed you are, there is an audience you may never be able to reach. There lies the relevance of other people helped by God. There are people that may never want to listen to a Adeboe. I'm telling you the truth. There are people that may never want to listen to a Adepo. There are people that may never want to listen to Salma. There are people that may never listen to Kumui. But they will listen to you. You don't believe what I'm telling you. Everyone eh, is giving a voice. And you see, if you hide your voice, just because somebody's voice is available, you are going to rob this generation. Because everyone is made a voice. And the reason why stars don't shine is because their voice is hidden. So one of the greatest things that God will do to you is to amplify your voice. Give you a voice that a nation can hear. And as I told you, no sound, no song is made by only one key. Right? Or something they call it. Is it note? You have to press more than one. It's the same way that me and you can still be the same voice in another city. You say a different thing, I say a different thing. If I give this guy this microphone now, what he will say will be different from what I will say. Yet again, you'll be blessed. Every voice has a kind of sound. And that sound is what makes the voice become a star. Everybody can sing, but you can sing differently. That's how it works. And that is why Sinatch is different from Frank Edward. Frank Edward is different from Ebem. Theophilus is different from Lawrence. All of them may have a sound. But in that sound, there is a unique voice that God gives them. All of you can be apostles, but your voice is different. Why? Because the voice carries a kind of authority. My friends, one of the greatest things that God can do to you is not copy and paste. is to make you a voice. John said, I am a voice. Cry from the wilderness. When God wants to lift a man, he makes him a voice. He gives him a voice. Then he sent him as a voice. And when men hear his voice, he saw a sound it. He rattles. It's not only here that that bless people in redemption come. If you hear other people speak, you'll be blessed. Except you are very you are you are a religious person. If God makes you a voice, you can speak and that boy will be blessed. You understand what I'm saying? God is not the way we are thinking. God can hide some things from me and reveal it only to you. It doesn't matter how big you are. The God in heaven. No one man is a totality of the dimension of God. No. God distributes himself in all of us to ensure that as you ascend the plane of Zion, you are elevated to a place. When you speak, God begins to move, to begin to act. Not because of who you are. It's actually his voice. He did. Immortal man. So one of the greatest things that God has to do to you is to make you a voice and send you. Many more times when people hear us talk, they say, Kai! What kind of a voice is that? And sometimes, when I travel, you know I travel very casual. So when I go, there, where is the Apostle Philip? I will just put my earpiece and just find one way and go and hide. They are hearing the message. They are hearing a voice stronger than me, bigger than me. And when they now look at me, they're not trying to see a man in the flesh. Paul said, we know no man after the flesh. If you look at who Paul is, Paul said, I am more strong in writing than physically. When you see Paul, the apostle physically, he's a feeble man. But in his writings, <laughs> there is an authority in the voice. 
So often times, men look at you and they underestimate you. I say, give me just 30 minutes, let me go and shower. When I come and begin to speak, they now hear the voice. They say, oh, Dickie, that's the Philip Sefer. You see, what they are looking for is not me physically. They are looking for that voice. Because that voice is the voice of authority. So when God makes you a voice, it goes beyond your physical look. <clears throat> and when God does not make you a voice, no matter how big you are, you are still nothing. You can be small, but you can become a young Asian. A spirit can envelop you. And when you speak, they hear an Asian speak to you. And when you speak, you begin to command things. You say, Kai, who is this man that does these things except God be with him? Jesus Christ was the least among all his apostles. All of him seen on him. All the apostles seen on Jesus, including John the Baptist. There was a voice. When you speak, they must hear. Let me tell you. You and your friend can just be talking and gisting, and suddenly you switch and begin to speak, and the person can be blessed. What happened? A voice. Me and just be talking and gisting. We may just be finish eating a bar. We just begin to sing a song. And so, what happened? A voice. It was still the same voice that you have before, but now another voice begin to give air to spirit. One of the greatest things God can do to you, my brothers, is to add His own voice to your own voice. So you can be your husband. Maybe you finish even bathing together. You finish kissing together. But he begin to speak. And suddenly, an anointing come upon you. It goes beyond that. It's a voice. Every star is giving a voice. And if the star must shine, that voice is backing the star. I put a message years ago, the credentials of an apostle. One of the credentials that guarantee you to become an apostolic voice is that God sends you as a voice. God gives you a unique voice. Everybody may be apostle, but when they hear your voice, there is a uniqueness in it. All of us are not similar. No! It's the same apostolic grace, but different spirit, backed up by a voice. Everybody may sing song, but when you come and begin to sing a song, your own is different. Why? It's a different voice. Everybody may preach the same sermon on love, you speak your own, your own is different. Why? It's a different voice. You see, don't neglect your voice just because somebody is there. No! Everybody has a voice that a generation has to hear. God is not interested in limiting you. No! Nobody is inferior. Your inferiority is in how much more you have not joined into the place where your voice lies. Your voice in the spirit is your garment. It's what carries the glory. When you wear it, when you enter into a ritual and you speak it, bow. When you understand this, you know it's not about copy and paste. It's not about talking like somebody. You can talk like somebody and if you don't have a place in the spirit, you are still a waste. Many years ago, the Lord told me, Philip, you can be a hybrid. <laughs> you don't know. You can be a hybrid of here, yeah, boy, a hybrid. You can come to a point where eh, you collect so much of the possibility that God gave to Adeboe and add it to the one that God gives you. So that one becomes like a backup plan. So by the time you enter into a region, if they refuse to hear you, you switch to Adeboe. <laughs> so when you say people see, when you hear people say the God of my father, it's because they tried their own self. Their covenant was denied. He said, okay, let me invoke the covenant of my father. It's not a religious statement. It's an understanding. You don't have an understanding. That's why you perish. I can enter a region now. And I, I do, do, do. When the thing want to destroy me, I say, I stand upon the grace of my father. He had the boy. See, it will hear. Because spiritual things are not the way you are thinking. Before, is it my father in the flesh, as you call? Because many of you, your parents were idol worshippers. So if you call that one, a spirit will appear. I say, why are you calling me here? See, one of the things that God has to do to you is to make you a voice. You see, this is your voice. God can do something to it. That anytime you go to a place, you speak, people can reject you. Do you know there are people that if you can allow them to talk to you for just 10 seconds, even if it's a lie they speak, you will believe them. <laughs> I have one of my friends like that. That guy can come and lie. You will not even know when you believe the lie. It's a voice. <laughs> there are people that when they open their mouth to say anything, you must hear them. 
Those people, they can manipulate you with their mouth. Just allow them to open their mouth and speak. You are gone. There is one guy, if he face a lady and begin to speak, she will not even know when she will say yes. It's a voice. The things that he will say, you can't even imagine. There are people that God has graced their tongue. And when they open it to begin to speak, an excellency and strength is emanated. So let me tell you, listening to men, what I look for is their voice. It's that voice of authority that God gave them. And paraventure, God did not give you that voice of authority. See, you will not be relevant. You will not be relevant. Everybody can be there, but when you begin to speak, they are trying to hear a voice of authority. That voice is the voice of salvation. It's the voice of deliverance. Somebody can be joking with you now, and by the time you begin to switch into that voice, you begin to see a grace express. It goes beyond what you are thinking. Do you know that demons have a voice? Angels have voice. Everything has voice. When you hear this, it produces a sound. But you know that sound is also a voice. Everything has a unique sound that it produces. Even your heart. They, they say, what they call it? Cardio, something cardiogram, something like that. When they put, they can hear a sound coming from your heart. My friends, everything has a voice, including you. And when God wants to make you shine as a star, that voice is what he gives strength to it. Okay, now, I can be speaking like this. Ezekiel 2 verse 2, he said, Why he you speak unto me? The spirit enters me and set me upon my feet. What makes Ezekiel become a prophet is nothing but the voice of God. When God spoke to him, he set him upon his feet. Ezekiel was among the captives by the river Kabar. And while God was speaking, it's something enters him. The same way I can just be speaking like this, something can enter you. And set me upon my feet. Yes. Oh, so sorry for that lady. Yesterday, a lady here, we were just I was just talking. A spirit enters her and lift her up and break the chair. I apologize for the chair if I have to pay or pay, but let me tell you the truth. Those kind of the things were the things that happened to Ezekiel. Ezekiel was together with them by the river Kaba. All of them were carried as slaves as they were going. A spirit enters him and set him upon his feet and he began to prophesy. What made him to become a prophet was the spirit that enters him at that moment. My friends, a spirit can enter you while I'm talking like this. Eh? And that spirit can change your life totally. Jesus said, the word I speak unto you, they are spirit and their life. It's a voice. Our generation is lacking in the voice. Men and women that have become voices. We have so many noise talkers. Many people that say what they don't know, but we lack their voices of restoration. How many of us know the things we speak? How many? That which we have seen, we have handled. Not what we have heard somebody speaking about. The voice carry grace. When God make you a voice, he empower you. But John the Baptist said, I am the voice of one crying from the wilderness. It then means that for the Lord to make you a voice, you must cry. Is that true? Jesus Christ cry with a loud voice. <laughs> My friends, you see, when we talk about prayer, people don't like it. But let me tell you, you can never become anything that prayer has not helped you become. Everything you have become outside of prayer is a lie. Do you know that good talking don't change people? Counseling don't change people. Counseling department. As if my head of counseling is here. Head of Shekinah Network Counseling. Counseling don't change people. <laughs> okay. See him there. Counseling. Do you know you counsel people today, tomorrow they come with the same kind of problem again. I know a woman that every day she comes for counseling. And it's the same thing she'll be saying. And I know that her problem needs sufficient prayer. And because you did not put her to prayer, if you can spend three hours praying, that three hours you go for counseling, you may not need it. But you see, you prefer to come and stay so that the way you are sorry, oh, you are sorry, you are sorry, 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 hey, you are sorry, oh, you are sorry. When you go back, you feel, you feel, you feel, you feel happy. When you go back and lie, and the problem will come and look at you again, and you now start crying again, you now go again, man of God, another counseling. My friends, I realize that oftentimes after people are done counseling, 
send them to the prayer department. Let them go and pray for like two hours. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, make your request known unto God. See, if you don't pray, there are many things in your life that will never happen. Nothing happened just like that. Everything you see that happened was enforced. Because the devil will not just clap for you that your life is working well. It's a lie. The devil will come to kill, to steal, to destroy. His job has never changed. If you see any man's life prosper, check. Prayer was in view. And now they realize that if Jesus Christ pray, the apostles pray, the prophet pray, father of old pray, my brothers, you must pray. Everybody in scripture pray. Why would the home be different? Anybody that wants to become a voice must be a man and a woman of prayer. Whether you like it or not, let me tell you the truth. Any man that pray, his voice carries strength in the spirit. When you pray, your voice carries eternal relevance. So when you speak, the heart of men born. Any sermon that is sandwiched with prayer lasts long in the heart of men. When a man pray, even if he's joking, eh, you will see the result. I told somebody, I said, sometimes you go for some of those who say that he had the way we go. You will not hear many revelations, but you will see the miracles. You will now understand that all the joking is saying, in the joking, there is prayer infusing it. When a man pray, even when he's joking, the joke carry power. But when you don't pray, your joke will become normal joke. In fact, your grammar will, will make the devil more excited. You'll be a motivational speaker. I told you, Ministers are not motivational speakers. Many of us have learned the language of Homo electis. How to motivate people. But you see, the problem with motivational speakers is this. There is a force that makes things to happen. And if that force is not in view, all what you do is to excite people's soul. You can do it. You can do it. You can start a business with zero nera. You say, yes, that's true. That's true. When you left the place, you now realize that you are a fool. Because you not realize that you actually paid transport before you came there. My friends. But you see, if I tell you, God will post by you tomorrow. Whether you don't have anything. I spoke from a voice. And what will happen is that I know that God can create out of nothing. Because from the very beginning, God created out of nothing. The only tool and agency for creation what is word and his spirit. And the word and the spirit you already have. So it's not as if you don't have anything. You have something. But that little thing that you have, out of it, God can create again. So suddenly, you may just be sleeping tomorrow and somebody can call you that you don't even know and send you like two million to your account. It's not motivation. A force backed it up. Everything has a force that backs it up to function. You see, and that force is only engaged by prayers. Why do you think people go to Babalao? They know that in force that backs it up to function. And that force is only engaged by prayers. Why do you think people go to Baba now? They know that in the physical, things don't just happen just like that. <clears throat> I don't know about your school, but in my school, there are people that used to wear charm to enter exam hall. Yes. So that even if they don't know anything, anything they write become it. Do you know the charm is something? That's what motivational speaker will not tell you. That charm is something. It's not nothing, it's something. You... You don't have a charm. And you don't even have the Holy Ghost. Now be a challenge. Your roommate is in, is in society. You, you are in the room. You are not in anyone. How can you sleep well? If your roommate is oppressing, you wake up at night and say, I refuse to be sleeping at night. I will sleep in the daytime. At night. Hehehe. <laughs> Hehehe. Hehehe. Your roommate will begin to find out that uh -uh, it's not only him that is in society. You two, you are in one. We all are in society. We are all in a ritual. Blood is involved now. Are you not taking communion in this place? Let me tell you the truth. Whether you like it or not, every religion has a ritual attached to it. Don't deceive yourself, including Christianity. Jesus said, if you don't drink my blood, you are not part of me. Doesn't, sound like, doesn't that one sound like a courtism to you? He said we should drink his blood and drink it every day. My friends, when we speak about the need for you to pray, it's because there's a realm of reality 
you must enter into. And everybody that must become a voice has to be one that can pray and pray again. If you don't pray, your voice can't carry strength. Witches and wizards will sit down and discuss you. And you can just finish from further point, take the bidders. You are going back home. They will say, some people were going and they die along the way. You see, I have promised myself that I will never be part of the statistics. No safety reported that 2,000 something people died. And they didn't mention your name, but you are part of that 2,000 something. God forbid. If you must be made a voice, you must be man and a woman of prayer. Oftentimes, when hear the boy speak, like I said, it's not about the things he's saying. <laughs> There's an authority backing what he say. That authority is the voice. Adeboye has a voice. Kumuyi has a voice. Olukoya has a voice. Oyedepo has a voice. Salma has a voice. What is your own voice? Everybody has a voice. But is your voice unique enough that spirit can bow when they hear it? If it is not, it means that your voice does not have strength in the spirit. And it means that you are sleeping too much. You must awaken to responsibility. Many people in these days don't know that men that carry the glory of God are only the men that are giving voice. See, we are living in a time when men glory in the riches of God. Nobody have riches in the glory. You go after the riches in the glory. Don't glory in the riches of God. Men that God makes stars are men that have riches in his glory do you have riches in the glory of God or do you only glory in the riches of God it is good that you have some riches in the glory of you glory in some of the riches that somehow the glory of God is upon your life and now you are walking in power walking in miracle walking in what prosperity walking in abundance is good but you see God cannot prosper you until he prosper through you and God can only prosper through you when there you when you have riches in his glory first of all before you can actually be able to come to a point where you are made a voice you must have riches in the glory of god you must come to a point where riches lies inside of the glory and now it is tabernacle within you don't just glory in the riches of god have riches in his glory first if you want to be made the voice you must be man and a woman that have riches in the glory of god Because the riches in the glory of God will produce the glory in the riches. I hope it's not confusing. Do you understand my point? Many of you want what God can do. Eh? But you don't want to carry what can make the things that do us the things. When he had the boy pray for you, things happen. What does he have that make that thing work? That's what I'm saying. What he has is what we call riches in glory. But what you are looking for is the glory of the riches. So you should go after the riches in the glory and not the glory of the riches. That's what I'm saying. If you must be made a voice, a star that must shine, you must go after the riches in the glory. And that's what we'll go after this morning. Like I said, you can become a hybrid of the voices. And for you to become a hybrid of all these voices, you must honor them. We are living in a very terrible generation. Where everybody insult the fathers and go like that. With your 10 megabyte, 10 megabyte. Maybe you recharge 100 naira or you put 100 naira empty and now give you 10 megabyte. You now enter inside Facebook. But some is free Facebook. They have used free Facebook. Free Facebook. You see, this man fly private jet. You now say, hey, all these people stealing our money. Oh, all these people stealing our money. Is there a jet in heaven? This is how the Bible said money is the root of all evil. This is how the Bible says it will be hard for rich people to go to heaven. You see, when you insult fathers, eh, they don't need to curse you, you already curse. If you are here, you don't honor the fathers. You are doomed. The Bible says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. Ephesians. You say, honor your fathers and your mothers so that your days can be long. Nobody rise in this kingdom. Nobody become a star 
not honoring others' tasks, you must acknowledge that there are other people ahead of you before you can actually come to a point where you can become like them. The school you are doing, some of them are professors, they have passed it. And yet again, they don't even glory in it. You, you have not even yet become a prof and you are insulting somebody that is a prof. You don't know what you are saying. I learned that Oedipo is the one that is to design almost all the, is it, all their structures. I was shocked. Those men are not daft. That means even if they drop this Bible, they can still make a living with their certificate. And you now sit down with your 10 megabytes and begin to insult them. See, I have not seen a minister that is that daft. I'm one of the best students in biochemistry. I'm very, four point out of five point, Ebu Zaria. You know how Ebu Zaria is? Four point. So even if I say I'm not preaching, my friends, <laughs> I will still be okay. I have a register company with CAC, register. So ministers are not that daft. They are not that poor the way you are thinking. Before you sit down to begin to insult ministers, calm down, think again. You can never be able to rise and begin to shine. Become a star if you insult other stars. Don't do that one. These are things that only vagabonds do. These are things that bastards do. How can you be insulting fathers? Let me tell you, the person don't need to be your father in the Lord. He may not be your father in the Lord, but he's another person's father in the Lord. If you insult my physical father, it's because you don't have a father. If you have a father, you will respect my father. If you have a mother, you will not insult other people's mother. Is that not true? Or maybe you lack home training. See, we must come back and restore the culture of honor in the body of Christ. It doesn't matter whatever you've heard or seen. Everybody have their own weakness. Everybody have their own challenge. Don't come and open your mouth and speak this one, speak that one. Oh God, calm down. Pray, Jesus, help me, help me now. Forget about their own problem. You honor them. Okay. Greatness comes with a price. To become a voice, you must be able to pay the price. You must also become, be able to let go of some friends. There are some people in your life now that cannot go to you to the next level. The next level is too far for them. Be careful of those people that are telling you that you are taking this church too far. You are taking this church too much. You are doing this church too much. You, every day, church, 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 church. See, my friends, run away from those kind of people. And these are people that take you to party hall. Do you know that? They take you to party. And every day they hear. She's praying that God make me a star to my generation. But do you know what she do early in the morning? Because of what she have learned in party every day. Early in the morning, they put a camera and they learn how to twerk. And you want the glory of God to rest upon your head. It will rest, but it will still be twerking out. So as you are twerking, you are twerking the glory of God. You can't even control yourself and not twerk in a day. And yet again, you want to sustain the glory of God. The things of God are hallowed things. These hallowed things, you carry them carefully. When you see us cry and worshiping, it's because we don't want God to take away the glory. Just eating from a food, a glory left. Then what do you think will happen when you are twerking every day? And where did you learn it from? It's in the Bible. No, you learned it from Sinatch. Oh, sorry, what's this lady's name now? Eh? You, you, you know the name. What's the name? What's the name of the lady that used to twerk? Nicki Minaj. Ay, who said that? Ay, Papa, you need to sanctify this for people with prayer. So, Nicki Minaj. This is what our Christian ladies are doing. See, Escos, if you, some of the, even the Escos are guilty. If we follow you on TikTok or Instagram or on WhatsApp, we'll be shocked. Because early in the morning, their daily devotion, you see that they are twerking or maybe they will snap something nude and show to the world. Can we go through your feed on Facebook and pray in tongues? Or when we go through your feed on Facebook, we will be lost. If we follow you on WhatsApp status, are we going to lost the more or are we going to love God the more? Because everything you see people reveal is what is inside of them. 
because you don't have glory in the other one. Because you don't have riches in the glory. Because when God comes and what you have that you are a liar. When you don't have that, you reveal your nakedness to the world. No, is the speaking with Every man that matters is looking for a very gentle lady. We cannot to marry. live our life anyhow. And 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 to carry the glory and just become stars. No, this is this. Are you a virgin? It's not possible. So you see, even men know that they don't want a bad lady. For you, I end with this. There was a story that Ian Adeboe said. I listened to it. I was so amazed. I think the last time I shared it, he said many years ago, they went to a Kenyan camp meeting. Now, of course, they have been seeing a lot of miracles happen in Redeem and the rest, but Kai, when they went to that Kenyan camp meeting, they were so shocked and surprised. They saw the lame walk, they saw the cripple, they saw the lame walk, blind eyes see, deaf ear open, and he was shocked. He said, Kai, we have seen certain dimension, but I want this one. He now asked, He said, I want to see this man. They say, Ah, no, it's not possible to see him. Said, well, when there is a will, there will be a way. Somehow they gave him the appointment to see him. Then he went there. Do you know? He went with other people that came with him from Nigeria. When he went there, they began to ask them questions. What do you want? <laughs> Adebo said, the first person that went with him said, I want permission for me to be sharing your books in Nigeria. They asked the other one, what do you want? He said, I want permission for me to be sharing your tapes in Nigeria. They asked the other one, what do you want? He said, I want permission to be sharing your magazine in Nigeria. Ah. They now ask him, you, what do you want? He <laughs> had gave Kenny Taking an answer that he has never seen before. He said, I want all that is in you that make you you. That's an answer from a professor. He still asked him again, what do you want? I say, what do you want? He said, I want all that is in you that makes you you. The man was scared. Because he knew that he will have to die. Do you know what it means to get all this in somebody that makes the best in the best? It's like saying, meeting down with him and say, I want all your money. He will not mad. In fact, he will say, please arrest this person because so long as this person is alive. <laughs> and Adebo, he said, the man called his secretary in. He said, this one want permission to share our books in Nigeria. Give him books. Take him. Go and give him books. This one want permission to share tapes in Nigeria. Take him. Give him tapes. This one want permission to share books. Give him. He said, you kneel down. All of you go out. They close the door. And Adebo knelt down. He said he can only see Kenneth Hagin's hands come to him. You see, Kenneth Hagin lay hands on him and begin to pray. I say, oh God, I don't know how you did it to make me like this. But everything you do to make me like this, transfer it to this person. And he said, for almost a long time, almost like close to an hour, Kenneth Hagin was praying for him and praying for him. He said he was flat on the ground. He doesn't know where he was. When he wake up, he saw Kenneth Hagin crying. He said when he wake up, he knew that he truly got what he wanted. And that was how they came back to Nigeria. And you see the explosion. My friends, sometimes when you meet great men, eh, don't be too quick to answer. Think again. What can you get that money cannot buy? You can get an admission, then whatness. You can get a this, then whatness. You can get a book, then whatness. But there are things you can get and it will remain with you forever. Can you rise on your feet and let's pray and say, oh God, in this conference of the glory of the star, if God put glory upon men, if God empower men, if God enable men, I don't know how God makes men great. Ha. But God put something upon my head that will make the light, that will make the glory upon me never to quench. The challenge of men is that they carry the glory of God for a while and they die. Some people carry fire for a while, they die. After one year, they backslide. After two years, they backslide. You need something that can make you stand. 
the test of time. Open your mouth and pray and say, Oh God, give me strength in the spirit. Give me stature in the spirit. I can't be living my life breaking. I can't be living my life sleeping around. I cannot be living my life drinking around. No! Put your glory upon me. Lay your hands upon me and pray upon me. Make me a voice to my generation. Make me a voice. Make me a voice. Everybody in my family can say they will not rise. I say no. Make me a voice. I don't know what to do to you at boy. I don't know what to do to our father, but do to me now. Capo, my capo, bakabo. Adebo is one. I can become one. He was not to qualify, but you qualify him. Hey. Another army lies. Another generation lies. We are the women of covenant. We are the women of incense. We are the women of glory. Let another army rise. Let another army rise. Hey. The glory of a star is in its ability to shine. Shine for me. Shine. I choose to shine in my time. I choose to shine. Everywhere I find myself, I will shine. Hey. Somebody pray. Oh God, make me a voice. Make me a voice to my generation. I cannot die like that. I cannot remain like that. I cannot be wasted like that. I cannot perish like that. I cannot just be forgotten like that. Everybody in my family is not known. I choose to be known. I choose to be remembered. I choose to make a difference. Not in my day and my time. What did you do to a honorable? What did you do to Kumui? What did you do to a double? Father, do it to me. Baba, I cry. I cry to you tonight. Oh, Philip, I ask for you that you help me tonight. Hey, Jesus, I cry. I cry to you tonight. Oh, Philip, I ask for you that you help me tonight. Hey, Jesus, I cry. I cry to you tonight. Oh, Philip, I ask for you that you help me tonight. Holy Spirit, I cry. I cry to you tonight. Oh, Philip, I ask for you that you help me tonight. Jesus, I call you. Can you raise one's man tonight? Oh, Philip, I ask for you that you help me tonight. Hey, Baba, I call you. I cry to you tonight. Oh, Philip, I ask for you that you help me tonight. 
Oh Jesus, we cry out. We cry to you tonight. Open in the bars by that you are tonight. You are my life. Holy Spirit, you are my life. Today, you are my life. Holy Spirit, you are my life. You are my life. Oh, you are my life. Holy Spirit, you are my life. You are my life. Oh, you are my life. Holy Spirit, you are my life. You are my life. Oh, you are my life. Holy Spirit, you are my life. You are my life. Oh, you are my life. Holy Spirit, you are my life. The Lord is touching you right now. The Lord is empowering you right now. The Lord is empowering you right now. The Lord is putting His grace upon you. Stop looking at me and begin to pray. As the Lord Father do to me, what you did to the fathers of old. Oh God, empower me right now. You are my life. Holy Spirit, you are my life. You are my life. Holy Spirit, you are my life. Ask the Lord to help you. Pray, pray. Pray. Ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to help you. You are my life. Jesus to empower you. The grace of the Lord is upon you. Say, Jesus, make me a voice. Help me and help me now. Oh, 
Supplication is here. The spirit of prayer and supplication is here. And I see the Lord empowering men and women. You see, when the Lord comes, it doesn't come for everybody. No, it's very hard for you to shine. I told you, not every star will shine, some stars will not shine. But if you have decided to shine, you can shine. Hey. Many years ago, I make a decision that I must be relevant. If they must count great men, my name must be included. It's not an ambition, no. It's a personal decision. I never say I can't remain like that, no. A man I have is always better than a man that I have himself. The Lord told me, Vinny, a man I have is always better than a man that helps himself. Are you tired of your life? Do you want God to help you? Pray again and say, oh God, help me and help me now. Tomorrow is too late. One week is too late. Help me, Jesus. Lift up your hands. The hand of the Lord is coming upon you right now. The hand of the Lord is coming upon you right now. Father, I ask for an empowerment right now. I see the angels of the Lord walking to the horn, even right now. I ask from my left to my right, let the angels of the Lord, let them begin to breathe upon you right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. Ask the Lord for his glory. Ask the Lord for his glory. Oh God, I must be relevant. I must be relevant. Baba, I cry. I cry to you tonight. Oh, feelings I ask for you that you help him tonight. Jesus, I cry. I cry to you tonight. Oh, I will say, ask for you that we have it tonight. Oh, Jesus, I pray. I call to you tonight. Oh, we will say, ask for you that we have it tonight. Oh, Jesus, I pray. I call to you tonight. Oh, we will say, ask for I bless you. 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 I'm not going to be a 
voice. I make your 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 vo
out, 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 out
The Lord bless you. 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 Ya 
Jesus bless you. Hey, Jesus bless you. Hey, Jesus bless you. As in this place, we are happy with this place. 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 Yes, 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 yes,
The star will shine, you must 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 shine, yes, God is 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 my brother God is God is my brother that place speak for you 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 that place that place speak that place speak when the place of God speak for you when the place of God the place of God will speak Carry the grace of God. Carry the grace of Jesus. Carry the grace of Jesus. Carry Jesus. Carry the grace of God. Carry the grace of God. Carry it. Carry it. I put upon you the fire of God. Hey. Yes. Yes. Like fire. Like rain, let it fall. Like fire, like rain, like fire, like rain. Let God bless you. I empower you. Yes, yes, yes. Carry fire. Carry the fire of God. Carry, 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 carry. Hold up, carry, carry. More, 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 more. More. Oh, I like fire. Oh. Hey. Like more, more, more. Carry the grace of God. 
let it pop, 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 let God bless you. Brother, the Lord empower you. The Lord empower you. The Lord empower you. I release the grace. I release the grace by the strength of the Lord of God. Jesus bless you. Jesus bless you. We are done. Escos, escos. Executive, you cannot backslide. In the name of Jesus, carry the fire of God. Carry the glory of God. Hold on, hold on. You can't backslide. Hold on, let the fire of God. Let it burn, let it burn. No escos will backslide. No escos will backslide. No escos will backslide. No escos will backslide. I bring you back by the glory of God. I bring you back by the glory of God. Esco, carry fire. 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 I need fire. 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 More 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 fire. Like rain. Let your glory fall. Like fire. Like rain. Let it flow. Jesus. Like I empower you. Let your glory I empower you in the name of like Jesus. Carry the grace of God. Like in the name of Jesus, carry the grace of God. Carry it, carry it, carry it in a greater measure. In a greater measure. In a greater measure. You cannot backslide. You cannot backslide. No escrow is permitted to backslide. No. Let the fire to stay. The sustaining grace. The sustaining grace. The sustaining grace. Carry the sustaining grace. The sustaining grace, the sustaining grace beyond campus, beyond campus, you will not pass line. No, we say no, we say no, we say no. Shine as a star, shine as a star. The Lord empower you, 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 the Lord empower you. I empower you. I empower you. I refuse you to backslide. You cannot backslide. Go and become a voice. Go and become an envoy. Go and become an envoy. Become an envoy. Hold up, hold up. I can use grace. I can use grace. Carry more fire. Take it home. Take the fire home. Take the fire home. Take the fire home. Take the fire. Carry fire. Carry fire. Carry fire. Carry fire. Carry fire. Carry fire. Take the fire home. Take it. 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 Every demon out, 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 out. I am feeling zephyrs. Out of her. Out of her now. 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 Out by the power of the Lord, carry the grace of God. We are the department. I want all the ushering and the decorating come here. Escos, lift up your hands. Everybody is blessed today because of you. Let the double portion rest upon you. Let the double portion rest upon you. Close your eyes and lift up your hands. By the power of the Spirit of the Lord. The God in heaven, if he make men become voice, if a thousand men may perish, let you guys survive by the power of the Lord. At the count of three, I release the glory of the Lord upon you. At the count of three, let the fire of the Lord that keep men rest upon you right now. One, two, three. Receive the grace of God. Receive the grace of the Lord. Every escrow, carry the grace of the Lord. Carry the grace of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, 
Hold him in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bless you all. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Let the fire of God never die in your life. Let the fire of God never die in your life. Let it never die. I favor you. I favor you in your academics. I favor you in your finances. I favor you in your life. I release the grace of the Lord that works. I release the grace that works. Carry the grace of Jesus. Carry the grace of Jesus. Carry the grace of Jesus. Every echo, carry the grace of Jesus. I release the grace that works upon you. I release the grace that works upon you. I release it. I release it. I release it. I release it. Let men favor you. Let women favor you from today. I decree the favor of God. Financial favor. Abundant favor. Favor in your academics. Favor in your family. Favor every in your relationships. Favor, favor, favor by the power of the Spirit. Everything that has stand as a barrier, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Usher the collective in the come here and ask the Lord. Come here and cry. Say, Jesus, help me and help me now. You guys have always brought me here. I don't know why I have to suffer to come here. The Lord is not good. But you guys give me joy. I don't know what about Usher. I don't know what about decoration. Maybe because you will decorate heaven. You will usher men into heaven. You must have to be the voice by the power of the Spirit of the Lord. If there is anyone among you here that devil desire to limit by the power of the Holy Ghost, as my hands come upon you, I release the grace for excellence, the grace for abundance, the grace for multiplication. At the count of three, let the fire rest. Right now, one, two, three, let the Holy Ghost rest upon you right now. Right now, right now, carry the grace of God. Carry the grace of God. Carry the grace of God. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hold him, hold him. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Carry the grace. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, I see I see carry over straight. I see carry over straight. I see carry over straight. Some of you need the place of God to graduate. I grant it to you. I grant it to you. I believe the anointing. The anointing of God. The grace of God. Let the yokes be broken. Let the yokes be broken. Let powers be broken. Let them be broken. I can't see them carry over. I can't see them. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. Carry the place of God. Carry. Let the fire burn. Let it 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 burn. Let the fire burn. Let it burn. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Let it burn. More fire. More fire. More fire. More fire. More fire. More fire. Carry the fire of God. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on, hold on. Carry the fire of God. Carry, 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 carry. Hey, 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 a flame that bonnet, 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 it burn, it burn, it burn, it burn, it burn. The Lord is wiping away your tears. The Lord is wiping away your tears. I see the Lord wiping away your tears. Many of you need favor. I see the Lord wiping away your tears right now for your family and for you. I see some of you who are sick in your body. The Lord is bringing healing. Hold on. The Lord is bringing healing. Healing. Healing by His power. 
Heal him by his power. You are healed. You are delivered. You are healed. You are delivered. I punish hepatitis. I punish breathing condition. I punish blood pressure. I punish asthma. I punish ulcer. I punish my pain. You are healed. Every irregular menstrual play. Irregular menstrual play. Infections. Infections. You are punished. You are punished. You are punished. I punish it. I punish it. I punish it. I punish it. I The syndrome of rise and fall. The syndrome of rise and falling. You will no longer rise and fall again. You will no longer rise and fall. Hold on. You will no longer rise and fall. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, 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 yes. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, breathe upon her. 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 Right now. 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 You will heal the sick. You will cast out devils. You will heal the sick. You will cast out devils. You will raise the dead. Carry it. Carry it. Carry it. Carry it. Carry it. Carry fire. Carry fire. Carry fire. Let it burn. 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 I bless you. The Lord empower you. The Lord grace you. For those on that are not you can still leave them. May the hand of the Lord strengthen you. If God is looking for men, He can make them a voice. May the Lord make you. From today, whosoever has put energy, put time, put money, put effort, labor, that this become a possibility. I restore it back for you a thousandfold. The Bible says, I have not called the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. At this very moment, I decree by the power of the Lord, may the Lord God enable and empower you in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord make you a, a star with a glory that shine by his power and by his spirit. And we pray for the team, grow from strength to strength, grow from glory to glory. Any oppression over your life, any limitation over your life, I stand under the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say, let it be over in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every plans of the devil over you. You will live and you will not die. I empower you by grace. I decree that from today, let the hand of the Lord that keep men keep you. I pray that none of you will pass light. Far beyond federal polytechnic beta, I reach out to your families. I empower them by strengthening them. I bless everything that concerns you. Many of you need the favor of God to graduate. I decree and I declare from today, you must graduate in the name of Jesus. I cancel every carryover that is illegal. I cancel every carryover that is an injustice. The exams you have written and the exams you will write. I favor you in the name of Jesus. Many of you need the help of God in your academies. May Jesus that help me. I travel all the time, but yet I don't fail in academies. Many of you read and forget. A beast come to attack your intelligence. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask from today, let the favor of the Lord speak for your academics in Jesus' name. I decree that whatsoever you don't know, I command it not to come out in your exam in the name of Jesus. Let only what you know come out in your exam in the name of Jesus. If there is anything that will come out that you don't know, let it be an option in the name of Jesus. I empower you by faith. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. Give the Lord a shout.
the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. I said, let it be over in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every blast of the devil over you. You will live and will not die. I empower you by grace. I decree that from today, let the heart of the Lord that keep men keep you. I pray that none of you will pass light. Far beyond further for them to do that. I reach out to your families. I empower them and strengthen them. I bless anything that concerns you. Many of you need the favor of God to graduate. I decree and I declare from today, you must graduate in the name of Jesus. I cancel every battle of one that is illegal. I cancel every battle of one that is an injustice. The exams you are meeting and the exams you will write. I favor you in the name of Jesus. Many of you need the help of God in your academies. May Jesus that help me. I travel all the time for years and not fail in academies. Many of you need and forget a beast come to attack your intelligence. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask for today, let the favor of the Lord speak for you and pray in Jesus' name. I decree that whatsoever you don't know, I command you not to come out in your exam in the name of Jesus. Let only what you do come out in your exam in the name of Jesus. If there is anything that will come out that you don't know, let it be an option in the name of Jesus. I am power you by faith. In Jesus' mighty name, my friend. Amen and amen. Give the Lord a shout.